driver this week trying to get up there for first day main. Awesome to have new drivers out there. Right now. Gong Show Puck sitting on the front row or the front. Welcome a new guy up here tonight. It was spur of the moment, and we had a little bit of miscommunication. The one and only Night King, thanks for having us up there. Again, RD, glad that we got this worked out. Gong Show up front right there, but yeah, let's see how Alpha Girl works. These guys are looking fast. This is a cool track here, uh, RD. Yeah, forgot to get up for announcements. Uh, we got putting up here Night King up in the broadcast with us this week, so we welcome you guys here this Tuesday for us. your good race here at Canaan Valley. Yeah, I'm on board with Bad Boys right now, and then we're right behind him. We see THC, these guys all putting on one show. Alfie Girl right there looking really good. Ed Head back there having a little bit of complication. That's not going to fare very well for him. Darth Cups in that bright green uh, 13 car. He's trying to hold on to and get a little bit of grip. Uh, this track looks super fast coming up to that, uh, white, uh, that white wall right there, but you want that. Look at these uh, long straightaways here, too. So when these custom setups, again, most of these guys always on the all-time leaderboard, too. There's the only one and only baby blue and orange of the one and only Dr. Robbie Bobby. He's got himself uh, uh, some track to make up, too. But uh, Gong Show looking like he's uh, being uh, going to lead the way tonight, RD. Yeah, top three is taking off here, trying to get a spot on who's fourth. Find THC. THC's running third. Top four transfers. So. Slim yeah. crowd here, make it to the A main. Yeah, just jump back on, on board uh, with THC on uh, Night King. Who are you looking at right now? Again, this looks like a super I'm fun board track. Dr. Robbie Bobby as he goes to the inside of Gong Show for that number one spot. Now, he cleared a lot of distance since we joined in. Uh, Gong Show had a pretty good lead, and Dr. Robbie's cut it down to on this bumper almost. Yeah, two or three cars right there trying to use that draft again. Uh, early in the season, RD, we saw a lot of lag issues. Looks like some of this is cleaned up real good, so these guys are going to have the opportunity to try to race in. This is the B main trying to get to the A main. They want to get to that big show tonight. They want to put their tap shoes on. They do want to do some dancing tonight. Oh, yeah, as you said, oh. the lag issues. Contact for the as Dr. Robbie. Bobby almost takes it, gets a little loose. Oh, that was, yeah, that was hard contact. Sorry about that, RD. I was right there with you, That's Night fine. King. Yeah, the lag issues. I think it's a lot of the small tracks here lag a lot and get to the bigger tracks on schedule and pans out and drivers are able to hit their lines and get some fast laps in. Not dealing with the lag issue. Again, somebody that I'm not seeing here in the B main, I can only be, uh, assume made it to the A main, is the one and only Kigo, Kigo Baseball. And uh, if he does win tonight, RD, it looks like you have yourself a special trophy for him tonight. Uh, as, uh, that trophy I showed you was for last week. Uh, we won't mention it until he gets it sent to him. <laughs> exactly, that's Nardi, right. Uh, again, Extreme D T-shirt. That's for the Go Down and uh, Dr. Robbie Bobby will get that trophy. That's right. And the Goat Allen, a guy, uh, I always like to say it, man, if nobody's familiar with him, he sounds just like Wolfman Jack, one of the uh, world-famous uh, 60s DJs from back in the day. Goat and Kigo, always super fast. Dr. Robbie Bobby, unfamiliar. Uh, don't see him in the B-Main too, too terribly often. The same thing with the old Gong Show. Ooh, hard contact into the outside wall by Dr. Robbie Bobby. He's trying to make up some room on Gong Show. Gong Show's looking really strong right now in that uh, gray and white stripe 13 car. I believe we've got Bad Boys OZ sitting here in the fourth spot. I'm trying to catch him there. I think he's running behind THC, and that's your transfer spot. So we'll see Bad Boys in A main if he remains in that spot. Yep, I'm on board with him right now, and it looks like he doesn't have any pressure in front of him or any pressure behind him. So his only competition is himself right now. Somebody Don't overdrive the car. Again, that's the um, one and only Night King. We do appreciate him helping us out. It was spur of the moment, trying to make a move. Oh, look at that. Bad moves, moves to make a move on Dr. Robbie Bobby. A little slide job, as we like to say here in the dirt world. Somebody else that's listening doesn't have the game. He just wants to hear me there in the background. Noise is the one and only Coke FM. We not own him. It's Cola Motorsports. He, uh, he knows how to drive on some dirt every now and then uh, when he wants to uh, not go fishing and stuff like that. But uh, great to have him in here. I'm um, bored with that THC guy, too, in that 11 car. He is trying to make some moves, too. Alfie girl, let's see what you got. Can she get up there? At Coke FM here in the chat, he wasn't able to watch the race. He don't have the game, but... He races in the late model series. We've seen him run for a championship last Friday. And he would have a run, but wasn't able to make it up there. So, Coke, it looks like you've made yourself a, a little bit of a name everywhere you go. Okay, good talk, as we're still on board with Alfie Girl right now, <laughs> running. 
<laughs> yeah, they can. You're in the chat. You're live. We are live and alive here in Tony Stewart 305. Oh, never mind. He's on Do Not Allow. That's right. <laughs> so, Alfie Girl, again, uh, like you said, there are the uh, newcomer to the series tonight. Here we go, trying to make some moves. Can she get her way all the way up to that A main? These guys are flying around here. This lo this looks like a track that would be fun, uh, you know, on a car, motorcycle, sprint car, late model, doesn't matter. With that banking and those long straightaways, this looks like a very fun track to drive. Oh, yeah, it's fast track, and these guys in 305, they lose some time if they get loose in these turns. The turns are tight, so if they fat ass in, gets around on them too much, they slow down and catch their times down. Dr. Robbie Bobby looks like he did get past right there. Can he get back up to him? I don't think he can. Oh, he gets a little loose. That is Gong Show right in front of him. So Dr. Robbie Bobby trying to hang on to that uh, uh, spot right there, but Gong Show right in front of him. It's so funny that, uh, you know, I get hooked up with you guys, RD, and, uh, you know, Ohio is known for some very fast dirt tracks, cars, and motorcycles, uh, and a lot of world-renowned tracks, obviously, Eldora being up there, too, but uh, a lot of these Ohio guys, man, they love riding these dirt tracks. Oh, yeah, definitely. The racing in Ohio is all about the dirt around here. Uh, Eldora, one of the biggest tracks there is, the dirt track sitting right in Ohio with the... Uh, Proud tradition here for the Ohio hillbillies. <laughs> dirt track racing. That's right. I, I have toured around again. I uh, didn't race too, too many of them after I got done. Stayed at a couple of local tracks myself, but uh, uh, a lot of fun. And Ohio is known for its dirt. Dr. Robbie Bobby trying to get right back up to the gong. Can he get there? I don't know if he can. It's been a spread out race here. They haven't been a whole lot of racing side by side, but top four has remained the same and that's all they care about making an A main try to get yourself a win that's right you want to get to that B you want to put yourself in that big dog show tonight you want to put your dance shoes on like I always say and try to get there and I do believe that might have been the end of the B main car starting to slow down yeah I believe that's the end of Gung Su Puck back out of the race and he left early to get in the A main chat get ready to race in this A main and put down a good B main good show all right, guys, we're not going to leave anywhere. We will back out of this race. We're going to stay live and alive here for the A main. And once we get the uh, confirmation from everybody, RD, uh, let us know what's going on. Uh, again, Night King, myself, RD, helping out up here uh, in the Extreme Dirt Series. Thanks for everybody who joins in and pays attention every week. These guys put on one heck of a show. I don't know how many times I have to say it, that. Uh, these guys are, all of these guys are almost on all the all-time leaderboards in most of these series. That's the caliber of drivers that the Extreme Dirt Series has. Alfie Girl finished in fifth. It looks like Dark, uh, Darth Cup, Bad Boys, Dr. Robbie, Bobby, and THC. Again, we did have a couple people back out. Night King finished seventh. Good job for not running tonight, buddy. You know, the best I could, you know, I gotta thank my sponsors just for, you know, letting me go out there and run. <laughs> <laughs> so they like down a deep hallway. Lay <laughs> <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> Had to make a pit stop my own. <laughs> All right, guys, we are getting ready to go. A main racing here on a Tuesday night, 305 style for these uh, extreme dirt series. Can't we thank enough for uh, so many people that watch in and join in. Uh, and uh, RD, you guys, uh, you and Dr. Robbie Bobby put yourself together a very good uh, uh, series here, and you've got a lot of fan support and a lot of help, especially from uh, well-known recognition people like uh, Kenny Wallace, and uh, we all know him too from the NASCAR world of uh, Red 4424. Oh yeah, it's, it's hard putting together a series that everyone likes and everyone gets along in, and you know, some of these guys have hard races, but they come back and race next week, and they're mostly all friends, and keep the camaraderie coming so we enjoy our fans and appreciate red for supporting us it's a big youtuber and big nascar enthusiast nascar gaming enthusiast i appreciate having him on board and kenny walls for doing our intro as well yeah, and that, I mean, uh, that just shows, again, like I said, I'm not trying to repeat myself. Uh, these guys wouldn't go out and put their name on something they didn't support. So you guys have put yourself one hell of a league. That's right, find me $5 or same, but I'll say it again, one hell of a league. These guys are super, super fast every week, and they put on one great show. Thanks for having me up here in the booth uh, and, and giving me that opportunity to uh, join you guys. Oh, no problem at all. Putting, uh, you bring professionalism as well with your, uh, your announcing wheel. Not sure what Night King brings to it yet. He's just starting out, but <laughs> as to be seen. 
I think Night King was that. just bored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're sitting here. Uh, we like I said, we are not. To, we're not going to uh, diverge. We're going to stay live. Uh, we are going to go uh, uh, into the A main here and get everybody up there as, as soon as we get invites from everybody, Dr. Robbie Bobby or uh, somebody that can help us out over there. We do appreciate it, RD, again, man. And tonight was the first time I ever got the FaceTime with you. Man, you're ugly. <laughs> I got an ugly bug, man. I don't show it off too much. That's why I uh, got a radio voice here announcing these races. Yeah, you got a radio voice, and everybody says I got a face for radio, so I guess we are a match made in heaven. There you go. <laughs> Two Ohio boys here. That's right. No, it's always fun, and uh, uh, when I was approached by Do Dr. Robert Bobby for this opportunity, uh, you know, I, I couldn't say no, especially when I saw the names that were coming over here. I've seen a lot of these guys uh, uh, race in different series and uh, different organizations, and you could not not want to come over here and watch these guys race. And you guys race all types of series here, from the TQs all the way up to the 305s, the 410s, uh, and put on one heck of a show. And again, a Knoxville now being added. How awesome is that? No, it's it's awesome, and uh, I I put it together, but again, I didn't have to do much of the work. I gave it up to Robbie Bobby to set standings and schedules out, and he's done a hell of a lot of work getting these fast guys together and to get you announcing for us. I know uh, he's done a lot of reach out for the for the league and for the series, as well as a handful of other guys. So it ain't just me doing it; it's uh, the whole crowd here putting these things together. Well, I'm just doing it for the labor of love right now. He promised me a 12-pack of Keystone every night I do it. And I have yet to see one of those 12-packs there, Dr. Robbie Bobby. He's probably not going to remember saying that because he actually did, and I was just putting words in his mouth hoping. <laughs> he owed you about three, four, thirty 30-packs so far, so you can keep piling them up. And if anybody out there who is joining in and following us along for the Extreme Dirt Series tonight, please go back and watch a lot of these races. RD, you put so much time and effort into this to go back and uh, edit these videos and... and you zoom in on accidents, you pay attention to the action, and the uh, the after hours work that you put in to make Extreme Dirt Series as great as this, man, don't take away credit from yourself. Yeah, put some work into it, but uh, again, if it wasn't freeze drivers on track putting on the show that they are, it you know, wouldn't be much to put on film here. I couldn't go into a public lobby and do it. <laughs> you know, how a public lobby could be. But, uh, yeah, I put a lot of work into it, and definitely trying to improve, and uh, Keep doing a better job week week in week out. Keep putting out good races for people to watch. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and find Extreme Dirt Series on Facebook. Again, uh, like, hit, and out. subscribe those buttons, man. Smash those buttons out there. These guys put on all the driving expertise. Dr. Robbie Bobby RD with their editing and their, the time and effort they put into this, too. Hit that button and like and subscribe to the Extreme Dirt Series. I know we are just looking at a uh, blank page of uh, lobbies right now, just waiting to get that that a OK -OK to join in for that a main. See what I did there? Yeah, we're getting, yeah, we're getting ready here. Putting uh, Hoosier's on the chat with me, getting ready to tell him when joins. So. That's perfect. That's awesome. Hoosier again, him and uh, Mr. Carf. We've seen him in both uh, different series, late models and uh, sprint cars. They're going to do themselves a little bit of eye racing. Let's see how it pans out for them. So good luck to them out there. But uh, Hoosier, man, uh, great guy, uh, bass guy too, just like everybody that you have here. Carf, uh, congratulations to him on uh, moving up to eye racing. Buddy. Here we go. It's going to be on like Donkey Kong as I blue screen real quick. Here we are, Cannon Valley, 30 laps for the 305 series. The Very GOAT, Fat King Thing, Tree Slayer, RC Racer, King Fee, Shotgun, Kigo, Hoosier, THC, and Gong Show. Let's get it on. 30 laps. A lot of big names, a lot of fast guys up here. 30 laps and 305 is fast track. Be able to see put it put down the lines, win this race. We get green flag racing. 
and again thanks to Night King for uh, helping us out uh, that was spur of the moment didn't know exactly what was happening I made sure I was here this week because <clears throat> cough cough a couple weeks ago for the all-star week somebody Dr. Uppy Bubby forgot to give me uh, insight on what's going on but here we go we are live and alive here at Candy let's go with the 305s on board with Kigo sitting in fourth he's not typically used to seeing cars too terribly front of, like that in front of him unless they are lap cars so Kigo's got his work out from and I do believe that's the goat right there with him too they are all trying to dive into it she's like ooh hard contact into the wall drivers yeah a couple drivers come low and go high and her fat thing ended up with the lead we seen Kigo with the lead early got up a little higher and got back to fourth he's trying to make up his spot going up third now Fat thing 101 right there in that 53 red and black car trying to pull away. Can't do it quite down that straightaway. He's got some competition going on the outside. He, they don't want to dive down. It looks like too low to the inside line. They're going to use that medium line, that mid line right there, and try to get some drive down there. See that pink car? That's good. Pulling back just a little bit. Right now, going down the uh, straightaway. Fat thing 101, our leader, Night King. Yeah, okay, good talk for him. <laughs> Tree Slayer runs I'm, third. I'm sorry, I was been, muted. <laughs> hadn't been up there for the wins a whole lot. Yeah, he's up there in third trying to get himself a win here in the 5 series. He's our yeah, 410 sprint car series points leader. I've tried my hand at running dirt here in these sprint cars, and I cannot <clears throat> hardly keep it on track. I don't know how these guys are doing it, look, making it look so smooth. I'm on board with the Goat Al and the one and only Wolfman Jack. Looks like he's right into that fifth position. Three cars battling up ahead of him. He's falling back just a little bit. That's more. I uh, see the two cars in front of him. Here comes King Feast to the outside. Dr. Robbie Bobby's going to make a move to Houston's side down this long back straightaway. He can't get that done. King Feast trying to hold on to it right now. Let's see how he does. On board with Tree Slayer. He's sitting in that third position. Got some competition in front of him, but he's got to keep an eye on who's behind him at the same time. It looked like Tree Slayer's lost a little bit of ground, a couple card lengths. He's got top twos taking off. We seem to be main spread out a little bit. That's what's happening now here in A Main. Haven't seen caution for a couple weeks, so these guys in the middle of the pack will be itching for a caution here soon. Yeah, that's exactly it. I'm on board with Hoosier Racing right now. We were just talking about him, him and Carr trying to go do some eye race, and he's got a long way ahead of him. It looks like he's falling back just a little bit. There's THC. We just saw him transfer from the B Main. Gong Show Bad also. Dr. Robbie Bobby, another guy back there. These guys are starting to spread out just a little bit there, RD. Yep, see Fat Thing 101 the lead. He hadn't won a race yet this year. He's up here in the lead trying to win this one out in front of Kigo. Yeah, I was just going to... Series. I was just going to say, look behind him, Kigo, the one and only, that you, that's somebody you don't want to see in your rear view mirror. We all know he's very consistent and very proficient here on the dirt. Can he hold on to it? Guys, these are like 305s. Five they are custom Kigo cars. There. I got to say it, Fat Thing 101's got a drunk friend out there who wants me to call him Kyle, so we'll call him Kyle K here for this moment. And that thing told me not to call him Matt, so that's just the one and only time. Shout out to his drunk friend who watches the races. <laughs> well, we appreciate anybody and everybody that participates, intoxicated or not. Thanks for joining in. Hopefully, he's Fat drinking a cold, reductious uh, Keystone Light as I'm still on board with Kigo sitting in second. He's got that guy right in front of him. Can he make it down? Oop, look at that. Gets a little bit loose. See the windmills in the background trying to provide power to this racetrack. Keep the lights on. Kigo drives it in. Gets off the gas just a little bit. Long back straightaway here, RD. Yeah, these guys have to keep your stagger straight and uh, really work on their cars. I know you run default setups here and your car's everywhere down these long straightaways. It's you gotta put a lot into your setup to have your car facing the right way, come down these straightaways and get set in that corner. Yeah, Fat Thing's still up front. Kigo trying to make a run right there in second place. Gain a little bit of ground on him, so Fat Thing trying to do... You know he's got that loud pedal sound, that right one. He's got it to the floor. Can he make it stick? I'm on board with RC Racer, and he's got that uh, Dr. Robbie Bobby guy behind him, and I just saw the goat right there, too, trying to catch on them. So we got good racing here in the middle of the pack. Yeah, I'm still on board with the leaders here. It looks like he got caught up a couple car lengths on Fat Thing. They're watching him go for the win here towards the middle of the race. Trying to let uh, a lot of good drivers up here. Here I go. Just got back on board. Fat thing to the inside. Kigo to the outside. He's going to make that move. We'd like to say it here in the dirt series. Slide job. Kigo Contact fire. being made. He, yep, he gets it. Fat thing gets into the wall. Kigo, the new leader. I'm going to start. 
if Tigo yeah. wins any more races or he ends up on the box anymore, RD, I'm going to have to start charging him $5 every time I talk to him. There you go. Gives the bank account going. Tigo now the leader. Fat, fat thing sitting in second. Go ahead, RD. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, Fat Thing 101 trying to catch back up to him. Uh, sorry to interrupt you there, too, but Fat Thing trying to catch me. Catch Kigo back down as Kigo went on his inside and been leading the last couple laps here. We got stars in the skies, windmill in the backgrounds as we see him go into one and two right here. Kigo the leader, Fat Thing still sitting in second. And uh, we're going to jump back here on RC Racer. There's a good little battle going on with these three cars right there. Trying to see that 13 car. I think that's the gong right there. The one and only. These guys trying to make it work. You don't see a lot of cars up towards the front. You don't see a lot of cars up towards the front here. You wonder if maybe the free downloading uh, farming simulator came out. Everybody's been playing it. Maybe not working on their setups quite much this week. Yeah, everybody yeah, everybody kept trying to hit. They said, hey, Puddin, get uh, get farming simulator. And I said, if I want to milk a cow in and watch corn grow, I'll just go back to Ohio. There you go. <laughs> These guys all started to work together back here, but they're trying to race each other at the same time. RC Racer, he made a pass right there on the outside, got a car in front of him. Going to jump back on boat here with the one and only Goat93 Allen. He drives himself a dirt late model in real life. I like to call him Wolfman Jack. Again, if you've never heard it, he sounds just like him. He even said he had to go who Wolfman Jack is. Still, again, <laughs> love the background with the uh, all the windmills and the uh, stars in the sky right there. But, uh, yeah, we see uh, Goat, he's falling back a little bit, and we normally I see him up towards the front a little bit, RD. Yeah, he's our points leader coming in, and uh, not sure what position he's in now here on track because they've spread out quite a bit, but he's not up towards the front like he usually is, and could cost him points leader tonight. Ooh, one car hard into the outside. Can't see who the name is. That's a blue and white and 11 car. Here comes King Thief. going to make yes. moves to the inside of him. Hey. Take it, Night King. Yeah, that 11 car was RC Racer. Gets into the wall. Him and uh, King has been battling for the last few laps and it's been insane. They make contact, go on two wheels, and keep on going, keep a foot on the gas. And King Fees happened to take advantage of that little contact in the wall there and make that pass. So I was just on board uh, right there, and it looks like uh, with uh, Tree Slayer and Dr. Robbie probably right behind him on board with Hoosier in that custom car having a little bit of struggles tonight but we know how proficient he is on dirt we know how he loves to uh, yank tear offs off we don't see him on pavement very often so uh, see if Hoosier can get back up to that pack THC no cars in front of him either so we're going to go on go board with Gong Show he's got a car in front of him he's going to run that high wide to handsome HWH can he make it work no he's losing ground he gets a little loose coming off that turn but uh, we're going to go back on board with Dr. Robbie Bobby can he get back up there transfer his way from the B to the A main there RD yeah you mentioned Hoosier 7 uh, not up front either like he's usually been but you all see that farm he's got on farming simulator 19 mm. buddy it's it's a good one man I can't wait to eat some of that bacon that he you know he's, I'm sure he's got some good pigs over there too I'm back on board with Kigo baseball watching him he's, he still leads this race putting down a lap so trying hard to catch him fat thing one over behind him they I believe they put THC lap down Yep, I know you see that there. Fat thing makes move to the inside. Again, happy to see lag issues starting to slow down just a little bit. Long back stretch. Fat thing is losing ground to Kigo. Kigo now going into uh, three and four right there. Can he make a stick? Obviously he can. Kigo very good over here. He's hitting them laps. I know uh, I was mentioning to be man, you get too loose here. It cuts off time. That's why I see him running the midline. I think you get a little too low here. You hit that grass and get a little too loose and slows you down. So Kigo's running some hard laps here again being a video game some of these guys on controller some of these guys on wheels some like to run a wheel on dirt some like to run that controller on dirt everything makes it it's a little bit different as i'm on board with that thing he's running his second right behind kigo he scrapes that wall going down the front stretch now they're going down that long back stretch as he makes it through one and two can he make it stick can he make it work can he not hit that line again in order to be able to catch kigo what he has to do is make clean proficient laps like kigo is doing you can only go as fast as the person in front of you you have to match them to do it. Race the racetrack, not the racer. He scrubbed the wall a little bit. He won't cut off too much time. His fat things disappearing behind him. He's cutting down the laps and he's putting down times here. We're getting towards the end of the race. I believe it's probably five to go, if not less. 
Yeah, these guys click off laps here real quick. We have been clean and green. No cautions here tonight. These guys are the professionals. Again, all-time leaderboards. Most of these guys at most of these tracks and all kinds of series on board with the GOAT in that 93 car. Always runs that little bit of a pink. Scrapes up wall coming down the back car. Back stretch. He's got two cars right there. Okay, I don't think he's going to be able to make up to him. But let's jump on board right now. Like you said, with Kigo being the leader, have with uh, less than five to go, we have to assume that, uh, that it's going to be a dominant win for him that, uh, that was time. it that was it yeah, that's right your winner kigo baseball 21 we've seen him win before and won't be the last time oh five bucks owed to me make that check payable to uh mr pudding there kigo <laughs> congratulations to him it's unofficial until it's official as i always like to say let's get these guys up here in the booth but let's see exactly where the finishing order was Again, Night King in the booth helping out. Again, that was spur of the moment. Couldn't get a hold of RD. RD and I had a little bit of uh, interference. We, figured, we managed to figure everything out. And again, uh, RD, thank you for everything that you do. Dr. Robbie, Bobby, and all these drivers here in the Extreme Dirt Series on Tuesday nights. Oh, we appreciate it, man. Thanks for helping us put on a good show. And I know to uh, definitely miss you here when you're not here doing the announcing with us. So we appreciate you being here, Puddin'. I do appreciate that. Thank you. No, the uh, I couldn't say no to the opportunity. We're going to get the top three up here. I uh, unfortunately am uh, kind of busy at certain times, uh, so I can't make every race, but any race I can make, you know I will be here to uh, help you guys out. Kigo putting down the fast time with a 1983. That's fast, too. See what it is on the all-time list. That is... I suggested Kigo and Fat Thing 101 into the chat. We're not sure who finished third. We can invite uh, Let me see. I do believe. I'm going to blue screen for one second here. If you suggest, I do have the chat party. No, I don't. So that's. Uh, is that you, Night King, who's got the chat party? You invite me. Let me double check this real quick. Get these guys up here. We want to give them a moment in glory. Put them to these guys who put themselves in the box. Oh, there it is. No, it's not suggested player. So that is not me. Give us one second here while we get this worked out. I'm trying to figure it out. Sorry for the blue screen. It's fast times at 1981 at second all time. Or second weekly, excuse me. His 1983 would have been posted up for fifth all time. All right, I'm trying to figure this out real quick. RD doesn't have it. I don't have it. Night King doesn't have it. Coke, do you have it? And intentionally? I'm trying to figure out why it won't let me get these guys up here. Let's try that right there. Let's see if that works. He said, no. Why you got to be yelling at me like that, Coke? Working on everything again. RD, myself, Night King, all the way up here on a Tuesday night. There's Fat Thing 101. Congratulations on getting on the box. Skip us one more second here while we get everybody up there. There's Kigo. Up, oh, fellas. Oh, not Kigo. Hey, I told everybody that uh, every time I got to talk to you post race, you owe me five bucks. Yeah. You guys know who finished third? We didn't get a spot. Tree All right. Well, well, we're working on getting him up here real quick. Congratulations, great win for you tonight, Kiko. Uh, you you just seem to be put on a uh, a clinic this year. Yeah, I had a pretty good season this year, Puddin. This old uh, Toyota Yamaha Suzuki, powered by Ferrari, <laughs> was rolling tonight, bud. 
<laughs> and I noticed so, I noticed how you uh, mentioned every manufacturer that I don't like. <laughs> Is that a coincidence? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> no, but, good job, Pat Thing uh, on second, True Slayer on third. Yeah, that's how run right thing, you guys. See both you guys get up a little high in the wall during the first couple laps and try to get your cars under you and. Uh, Kiga, you went from first to fourth and had to make your way back up. That thing led the first half of the race thinking he's going to win it. Yep. Take another second finish, I guess. What are your I'm expectations for the rest of the year? Well... The rate this has been going since I first started, um, getting up there, proving I compete with these guys, and just try to get a win by the end of the season and hope for the best. It's in eighth all time now at Canaan Valley. We were 1986. Not sure if you hit it in that race or. Uh, I was week. during that race actually. Yep. I was trying to wheel that car to catch Kigo, but. <laughs> you was right there, buddy. I tried. Kigo, are you ever going to quit cheating and take the train wheels off that thing? Shit. Wait a minute, we're on air. You no can't say that. Here. <laughs> you can't say that. I, I, I will tell you what, it hurts. <laughs> Sunday with the four tens at Circle ended up second to Kigo, being there with him again, and another second to him. It's kind of getting old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're getting up there, Pat Singh. Congratulations. Yeah, for he definitely him. is. And from where I first started this season, like I was saying, coming into now and competing with Kigo for wins, it's definitely a great turnaround. And hopefully I'll get one on him by the end of the year. Bad thing, if you want to mention your show, you got here at Knoxville. Not sure if you have enough drivers for it yet or not, but uh, yeah, I have a race coming up at Knoxville on the 24th of May. Um, we're not sure of the page that is going. It is going to be on. It will be on YouTube live streamed. I just paying 100 bucks to the winner, 25 for second payout, almost through the entire field. Um, do the best we can and we're hope to, to get see all drivers there. there for Knoxville. Hopefully, we can get together and have a good show here. Yeah, give them hell. I'm not even racing. Key goes in it, though. He's kind of one of my favorites to win. So, with any luck, uh, Team Vroom Vroom can go to the front and do what they do best. Kiko never heard of her. Be tough. Never heard of her. Ne never heard of Puddin' Puss, either. <laughs> <laughs> Pinky Puddin', I'm out. Fellas, see you. No, all right, Kiko. Good, good to talk to you again. Good night. Good to talk to you guys. Yeah, you too, Kigo. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for having me, and hope to be here more often. All right, man. Congratulations to you. Still Night King, myself, and RD up here. Uh, we got ourselves a little special uh, guest commentator who is uh, not, always, not always allowed because he can't see anything right now. The one and only Coke FM. We know him as Cola Motorsports. This is Tree Slayer. You got your ears on? No, I believe he's in chat here yet. Uh, I sent him that invite. Soon. Okay, he didn't join yet, but congratulations to him for a third place finish. He's uh, trying to work his way up here. All right, well, fin uh, finishing words for you, Night King, before we get to RD. Man, I just appreciate y'all having me in the with today. I don't know a lot of these guys, and man, they did put on a heck of a show today. And you know, it was amazing job, guys, in the booth. You know, on the racetrack, Trav me. That's all I can say. <laughs> RD. Yeah, Hey, you're welcome back, Nick, Nick, or <laughs> Night King. Uh, Once you're I get to know to your, everybody, uh, I'm sure I'll do, I'll do a little better. If you get comfortable here enough to do your Eric Cartman impression for us every once in a while, but you're always <laughs> welcome to in the booth with us here. And uh, thank you, Puddin', for joining us, Coke. Maybe you have your voice loud. You can uh, announce for us here. Get Tony Stewart game. Get your shit together, everybody. <laughs> 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 all right. free version tonight. <laughs> all right, congratulations to our top three tonight, uh, Kigo, Fat Thing, and Tree Slayer. As always, from the dirt, Extreme Dirt Series, myself, Mr. Puddin, thanks for having me back up there. Our guest commentator tonight, Night King RD, thank you for what you're about to do, and thanks for having me up here, and thank you to Dr. Robbie Bobby for putting this on, because if it wasn't for you, RD, and Dr. Robbie Bobby, we would not be able to do this. For everybody here at the Extreme Dirt Series, we are going to wish you all one thing. 
please be safe with everything going on. Much love to everybody. Please be careful. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy yourself when you can. Enjoy the family time. And this is something I like to do. Everybody knows it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye. Bye. Bye.